You're so good to me. You're so good to me. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back. Good news today, family. Welcome back to the table. Yo, I don't know about you, but I had an amazing break. I don't know if you've been able to get a break this summer, but we had a great time. And I'm here to tell you, God is so good. God is good. God. Um, yo, this is good news today where we, um, we have the word of God, a cup of coffee and something that y'all have missed. It's what we call hot fire. Here we go. We got a theme song. Like the hit? Here you go. Hey. Everything. Come on, Groove. You know you missed it. Come on. Hey. We back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever will believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yo, turn my mic up. Y'all ain't see this coming. Uh, 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 uh. Get ready to catch this. Come to snatch your righteous mind, not your edges. God is the goal, and then there's the period. This thing is real. Woo cha, we serious. Intentional, the original. God is in control. Do it for your soul. Gotta let the whole world know. Hey yo, hey yo. Yo, everything's going to be okay. Let the people say God's going to make a way. Everything's going to be okay. Yo, listen, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. See it, say it, put it in the comments. Tell somebody right now, everything's going to be okay. Tell somebody, somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to know it in this season that everything is going to be okay. It ain't one thing you're going through that God ain't going to bring you through. Oh, can I say it again? It ain't one thing you're going through that God ain't going to bring you through. So please be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Um, everything's going to be okay everything's going to be okay. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I missed y'all so much, um, but I did not miss waking up early. Um, I loved uh, sleeping in um, and I love spending time with the fam. We had a, we had a great time uh, just hanging out uh, this summer. I was at the Global Leadership Summit. Anybody at the Global Leadership Summit? I'm rocking the shirt. Find your groove. Yo, one of the one of the greatest times of my life uh was had at the great at the at the Global Leadership Summit. Had an amazing time. Felt so good. God showed up in a strong way. So thanks for the love, the support. You saw the pictures, you saw the stuff. Thanks for all the love and the support. I really appreciate it. God really, really met us. Uh Carlos Whitaker, low sweat came in the room. Yo, Carlos, your story about Tony, I told it yesterday at our church. Um, I preached. You you, you were my second point in my sermon yesterday. So I'm going to talk about it. I talked about don't miss moments. And just because God changes your plan doesn't mean that um, that that God ain't changed his will, that, he's, that God has changed his will. Uh, and I just talked about when your plans fall apart, but you still fulfill God's will because you take advantage of opportunities. So Los Whip, thanks for preaching at the church this summer. Thanks for jumping on this morning. Uh, and thanks for just leading the way you do, bro. You are you are a gift to the body of Christ. The way you are leading in this moment, bro, is, ah, uh, shoot. You killing it, bro. You killing it. My twin, my twin, my twin, Carlos Whitaker. Yo, this summer, what's, what marks a good summer? What marks a good summer? Put it in the comments. I want to hear. Like when people say, hey, did you have a good summer? 
what qualifies as a yes? What helps you have a good summer? What's the mark of a good summer? Uh, is, it a, is it a trip? Is it a, how do you know if your summer was great? How do you know if your summer was great? I want to, um, I want to, I want to, I want to hear from y'all. Um, yeah, inspiring. Yeah. Seeing my kids and grandkids makes a great summer. Uh, I see that. Um, what makes a good summer? What makes a good summer? Consistency in naps. Yo, if y'all ain't heard, let it be known. Naps is the new hustle. Naps are the new hustle. Uh, traveling, working out, resting, uh, laid back full of sunshine, a good watermelon. Yeah. You know, and it's a whole experience trying to find a good, a good watermelon. You, you knock on it. Folks be looking for the yellow patch on the bottom that makes it good. You know what I mean? Uh, lake time. Somebody said going to the lake, to the lake, going to the beach, unforgettable moments, creating unforgettable moments. Um, actually taking a break instead of doing a hundred things. Yeah. Taking a break is a really big deal. Getting hot steam blue crabs. Come on. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's on a whole nother level. Traveling with the kids and good barbecue. That, it, that sounds like a good summer. Family visits. That sounds like a good summer. I was reflecting on growing up in our house and, 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 you know, seasons because I, you know, you got different seasons of summer. Um, and in, in other words, when I was a really small, when I was adolescent, when I was adult, when I was in college, my college years, they're just different seasons that I, when I think about summer, but I remember being a little boy, you know, I got two older sisters and they were like teenager. They were old enough to, we were old, old enough to stay at the house by ourselves. So my mom would go to work and we would be at the house and I'm the boy, I'm the baby. And they were there and, and we would be there all day by ourselves. And this is pre-Nintendo. This is pre-Nintendo, pre-video games, pre-all of that. So we didn't have that stuff. So we just had, you know, at my house, we just had soap operas. Uh, soap operas because I had two older sisters and they wasn't trying to give a brother uh, time to watch uh, uh, He-Man or transformers or none of that they wouldn't try and let us do none of that it wasn't pre-atari but we didn't have atari uh my cousins had atari so we had to go to their house to watch atari so this was when you had to go to a place that kids don't even know anything about these days you had to go outside you had to go outside that was this thing called outside and, and it didn't have all these recreational things built in. You had to create your recreation. Uh, you had a stick, which became a sword, which became all this kind of stuff. G.I. Joe, you used to watch G.I. Joe, all that kind of stuff. But it was frustrating because my sisters would just shut it down. And, you know, they would kind of rule, they would rule over me uh, all day. And I still remember, I, I, I took it to another level in my development, when I memorized my, my mama's work number, 8253108, I still memorize it. Oh, by the way, this is when you had to memorize numbers and you actually had phones in the house to communicate to other people. What no cell phones, what none of that. What, what none of that. <laughs> this is So summers seem longer, the days seem longer. Yes, and we will watch, first you had Young and the Restless, then you had All My Children, and then you had one life to live. And then maybe you could get in guiding light. But that was the lineup every day. That was the lineup. Come on now. I, do I have any witnesses? Anybody remember that lineup? You're young and the restless first. Then all my children. Then one life to live. And then maybe guiding light. I'm not sure about the last two sequence. But yo, that, that would take up most of the day. That'll take a muscle day. You do that, throw in a little outside time where you make up stuff and play with, and yo, then, you know, mama's coming back. So mom would leave in the morning. I remember, y'all know like the Muppets, like they only show like the second half of your mom. My mama would get dressed up to go to work. I still remember her. She'd come through that hallway with that perfume jingling with, with trinkets and stuff and stuff and, and the stockings and the heels and the dress and that, 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 that sheer, that shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
if you don't know what I'm talking about, I ain't even gonna go there. Um, General Hospital at two. Um, yeah, all my children for sure. I got words for for y'all, Victor Newman. Yo, so she comes through. I just remember seeing her come through the hallway before we before she leave, and and inevitably she would always say, "Now before I get back to this house, when I come back from work, y'all better have this house clean." Y'all better have this done, that done, and she'd 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 run off a list and just shout out what that list was. And, and when I get back, it better be done. So we'd be like, okay, okay, my we, we half woke, half sleep, whatever. We just doing our thing. We just you know kicking it. I still remember. I'm 43 years old. I'm a grown man. I still remember the fear. The fear. Right, right, right. That's a good one, Randa. And she'd also call in the middle of the day and say, hey, uh, take that chicken out the freezer, let it thaw out so I can cook it for dinner tonight. So, And then you'd be like, okay, 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 okay. Anybody had to thaw out chicken, just a midday thaw call, just get the chicken out. Yo, this is like nostalgia for me. Like I can still remember. I can still see it. I can still see. I can see it all. But what is un unforgettable was when she would pull up to that house. I can and, and we had gravel road. We lived in the country, so we had gravel road. You could hear it coming around the corner, and the fear, because you know, I have not done what she has asked me to do. There is a plethora of things that have gone undone and she pull up and the crisis in that house. Yo, we throwing clothes, getting this up, grabbing the chicken, trying to trying to put hot water on it, trying to get it. And Cause we know she about to come into this house and she gonna say, y'all ain't done nothing all day. Y'all been here all day. Y'all ain't done nothing. This ain't done. This ain't done. This ain't done. Y'all ain't done a thing all day. And then as a consequence and all that, I just remember the fear. Summers are marked with long days, but they're also marked with, with moments of accountability. Summers are great. The days are long, but here's the word. Mama's coming home. And as good as your summer days are, mama's coming home. And as she comes home, if your work ain't done, there's a problem. Now, do y'all do y'all see me coming? I didn't train y'all. I didn't taught y'all how to preach on here. Do you see me coming? I am, um, for the next few weeks, we, we've been in this series called Entrusted. And I am, I'm gonna be talking about this idea. Y'all, our life is like a fun summer. It's marked with great things. And it's really, really important. Great moments, meals, family, community, all the things that make a great summer, they also make a great life. But here's the thing that we usually don't talk about when we talk about those summers. There's still work that has to be done. And mama's coming home. As, as followers of Jesus Christ, I wanna talk about not just the best life that we're trying to live. You know what we talk about all the time? We always talk about all the stuff that we're entrusting to God and I'm giving this to God and I'm giving that to God. I wanna talk about what God has given us and not what we've entrusted into him, but what he's entrusted into us. And the things that he says, I'm coming back and I wanna know, did you do what I asked you to do? Have you done the things that I asked you to do? Have you fulfilled the assignments that I gave you? Or have you wasted your days? 
Have you wasted your days? What has God entrusted into you and are you stewarding it well for my glory? Or is your summer, is your life just marked with a highlight reel, but not an accountability reel? In Matthew 25, we're not going to sit in the passage today, but that's where we're going to be this week. Um, in Matthew 25, in Matthew 25 is all about this conversation. It's ultimately about a conversation. It's a conversation that God is going to have with each of us when we see him again, when we see him again. And I just want you to be prepared for that moment because that moment will be more than adoration. That moment will be a conversation where he's going to ask the question, what did you do with what I gave you? I, you see what you what I did with what you gave me, all the burdens, all the stuff, freedom, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Now sit down and let's talk about what you did with what I gave you. I entrusted you with life, what it should do with it. So I want you to begin to think about that. Because as good as our days are, and as long as our days are, we need to know mama's coming home. And when she comes home, she is heavily invested in what we did with our days. When I tell you, Jesus is coming back. And he will be heavily invested in what we did with our days. It's August 2021. We got a lot of it left. What, what do you say? Good news today, fam. Come on. As we come to this table, what do you say? We grab every day. I mean, and we, like a good washcloth, we wrench, we wrench it out. We wrench it out. And I know if you don't know that word, you probably ain't from the South. We wrench it out for all that it's worth. I want to push you as we come back. I want to push you to take every day and squeeze out as much purpose as you can in that day. Squeeze out as much destiny. Squeeze out as much calling and assignment of every day so that as a family, we can get our house in order knowing that our father's coming back. And when he comes back, we going to be ready. We going to be ready. I love it. Yes, Shayla. Ranch it out. Ranch, ranch it out. I love the way you spell it. R-A-N-C-H. Ranch it out. Ranch it out. Ranch it out. I want us to ranch out, squeeze out every morsel of purpose in your body, every morsel of destiny in your being. He's entrusted us with some things. How do we steward it for his glory? How do we steward it for his glory? And don't waste our lives. Don't waste time. Don't waste, here it is, purpose. We ain't gonna waste purpose because we got too much of it to waste it. So invite somebody. Hey, lock in with us. The next few months, we going in on purpose and how to maximize who God has called us to be and to fully leverage all that he's entrusted inside of us. And I'm telling you, every day is going to be some good news. Invite people to roll with us because because you're going to be making commitments and you're going to need a crew to make some commitments with you. So just come to the table, invite some folks to the table. We're going to be intentional about the next days ahead, 30 days, 100 days. I'm going to let you pick, but we about to go in. You gonna, 2022 going to find you full of purpose, full of purpose, full of promise, and full of God's plan executing in your life. Welcome back. I hope y'all ready. I'm ready. I'm back. I'm back. I hope y'all ready. Let's go. I'll see y'all tomorrow.